Hello culinary adventurers, welcome back to my kitchen, where today's journey takes us through a gourmet transformation of a beloved classic. Paired with the rich, velvety embrace of the red wine sauce, every bite is a morsel of gastronomic delight, a testament to the harmony of fine ingredients and meticulous preparation. And join me as we elevate this classic rack of lamb into a gastronomic masterpiece. Perfect for any table, seeking a touch of gourmet elegance. So tie on your apron, sharpen those knives. Let's get started. The cut in my hand comes with a fat cap that's cherished at our family table. So we'll skip the French trimming which is the process of trimming the meat away from the end of the rib bones for a more polished look. We won't worry about the silver skin beneath the fat cap. With the cooking technique we're using, it won't affect the end result. However, I am removing the silver skin on the bone side of the lamb rack, as it can act as a barrier to flavors. This ensures our marinade deeply infuses the meat with aromatic goodness. Scoring is next on our culinary to-do list. A few light incisions in the fat cap not only aid in rendering the fat, but also allow the marinade to sink in deeper, resulting in that much desired caramelized exterior, while ensuring we don't have an overwhelming amount of fat. And for that professional quality presentation, we are giving those bones a meticulous scrape. Now, for the marinade. We've got finely chopped rosemary leaves, releasing their fragrant oils. Three cloves of minced garlic for that robust punch, seasoned with salt and pepper, and all brought together with a spoonful of mayonnaise for a velvety coat. This aromatic concoction is slathered liberally over the meat, avoiding the bones. The wreck is then set on a roasting rack and I shroud the bones in tin foil to shield them from the heat, allowing the meat to marinate and come to room temperature over two hours. Bringing meat to room temperature is crucial. It ensures even cooking and better absorption of the marinade. Our red wine sauce calls for a Merlot, selected for its sweet and fruity undertones that beautifully complement the rich flavors of the lamb. But remember, using Merlot is just my choice. Feel free to use any wine that suits your taste. We start with a cup of this fine Merlot, allowing it to simmer with aromatic rosemary and garlic. This simmers down to half its original volume, intensifying those deep, complex flavors. Next, we add two cups of lamb or beef stock, continuing the reduction process to create a sauce that will lend our lamb a rich, velvety elegance. We preheat our oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The reverse sear technique is akin to an oven version of sous vide. This method involves slow roasting the meat at a low temperature initially, ensuring an even and precise doneness throughout the lamb. It's then finished with a high heat sear for a beautifully brunette crust. As we meticulously monitor the oven at the 20 minute mark, we check the internal temperature, aiming for 125 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit to achieve that perfect medium rare finish. However, it's crucial to remember that the temperature will continue to rise even after the meat is removed from the oven to avoid overcooking and to ensure we hit our desired temperature, we remove the lamb at 120 degrees Fahrenheit as our lamb takes its well-deserved rest for about 10 minutes. We turn our oven to preheat for the broiling step. Meanwhile, we refocus on our red wine sauce, which has now reduced to a deep, flavorful essence. A careful sprinkling of salt and a dash of freshly ground pepper are stirred in fine-tuning the sauce's flavor profile to perfection. With the seasoning set, it's time for the final transformative touch. 
We whisk in cold, unsalted butter, a crucial step that elevates the sauce from simply flavorful to remarkably luxurious. This addition not only enhances the texture, making it wonderfully silky and smooth, but also imparts a rich, glossy sheen. Grilling outside is undoubtedly the best method for searing our lamb, imparting a beautiful char and a hint of smokiness. However, with the chill of winter and snow blanketing the outdoors, we turn it to the broiler as our alternative. I broiled the lamb for three minutes on each side, both front and back, aiming for that even, appetizing char, yet a challenge arose. The top of the lamb wasn't cooking as uniformly as I'd hoped. In hindsight, a simple solution could have been to place a foil ball under the bones to level out the rack, ensuring more consistent exposure to the broiler's heat. Another option is to sear the lamb in a 450 degree Fahrenheit oven for 5-10 minutes, keen to avoid burning the garlic topping. I resorted to my kitchen torch. This tool is fantastic for its precision, allowing me to carefully brown the surface of the lamb without compromising the delicate garlic flavor. It's these small adjustments that can elevate your cooking, giving you the power to perfect each element of the dish. And now, for the grand reveal, a rack of lamb with a golden succulent fat cap, beckoning to be carved. Beside it, a side of ethereal waterfall mashed potatoes awaits. Be sure to check out my previous video for that recipe. Each slice of this lamb offers a promise of succulence, perfectly complemented by our velvety sauce, creating a harmonious blend of rustic, heartiness and refined dining. There you have it, friends. A reverse seared rack of lamb with red wine sauce. Each bite of this exquisite dish is a discovery of deep, buttery flavors, melting in your mouth with a richness that's both profound and comforting. The lamb, tender to the core, offers a taste that's like a harmonious symphony where each note of rosemary, garlic, and the subtle chair from the sear plays its part. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're inspired to recreate this dish in your own kitchen, if you've relished this journey from raw to sublime. Please support my channel with a like, share this with your food-loving friends, and subscribe for more Epicurean delights. Until our next culinary adventure, keep your plates adventurous and your hearts full.